stop, 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 stop. I don't feel like a Champions League team after the last game. Okay, I'm not in the mood, right? We lost 2-0 away in the Emirates. What What the hell? What the hell is that about? We're playing Lille away in France today in our first ever Champions League game with Leeds in this save. And in all fairness, we need to win it if we have any chance of getting through this group because we've only got Inter and Barcelona afterwards. So, it just gets easier. We need to bounce back and bounce back well. <laughs> You can tell I'm not feeling particularly confident right now, can't you? And that's because we're so bloody inconsistent still. I say that. We haven't played another game since. And the Arsenal game is the only game we've lost all season. But still, but still, it hurts. We're still in the Champions League places for this year, but it's only four games in, so it doesn't really mean too much. What means now is that I need to bounce back against Wolves. A win against Wolves will make me feel a hell of a lot better. I just want to get the form back. I don't want a big drop off. That's that's the last thing that we need. So with that in mind, we are going with our first team lineup today. Apart from Calvin Phillips, who has now dropped to the bench. So playing today, Wint is in goal. Dieters, Pavlovich, Pettersson, Thiago, and Collins make up the back four. Declan Rice, Adelio, and Mendoza are in the midfield. Vinicius Junior is out on the left. Kutrin's up front, of course, and Corneo is out on the right hand side. Hopefully. We can bounce back from that defeat against Arsenal. It was not good enough. And I've completely forgot I have signed... Da, 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 Roland Dytus. It was a last minute end of the transfer window saga. Basically by Munich, who did say that they didn't want to send to me for less than £116 million. Ended up selling him to me for £12.25 million. So naturally, I think it was the two games he played for them that he got 6.15. He's just not suited to buy Munich football. He's suited to Leeds. I just realised, I mentioned Dytus in the lineup, and it didn't even occur to me. Idiot. That's how focused I am on this game. Bruce has leaned the line for them. They've got Nato, they've got De La Cruz, they've got Gray, they've got Simicas. Obviously, the new Liverpool left back signing, who looks. Yeah, he looks a bit good. He looks a bit good. I mean, th this guy's got some of the best hair I've ever seen. Luke Matt Matteson? I mean, his hair is fantastic. We cannot have what happened against Arsenal happen again today, and I want a convincing performance. Not a, just a win. I want a convincing win. Nothing else will do. Come on, Leeds. We have to prove why we are in with a shout of being league champions this year. We need to prove our worth, and the best way to do that is to beat everybody. Naturally, if you beat everyone, you'll end up champions, Mike. So you're stating the obvious a little bit. Corneo over this corner whips it in. Kuchin at the back post doesn't quite nail his header. Uh, referee looks a little bit like he's in a Wolves kit, which I don't like. That's not brilliant from Medelio. Tavares is already onto the ball. He's hit it over the top. Brian Brewster's in. <sighs> Seven minutes in. It's their first attack of the game. And we're 1 0 down. He's definitely offside. Like, he's 100% he's, he's offside. I don't even want to talk about Wintz goalkeeping. He's 100% offside. Like that, that's not even up for debate. It's not even up for debate where, whether he's offside. He is miles offside. The two centre-backs are in line and he's behind the one that was meant to be marking him. The line is fine. It's bollocks decision. I'm not happy. I'm already feeling like we're going to go on a bad run of form. And I don't need that. I don't need that right now at all. This is stressing me out. Stressing me out already. I did not need that. Dice, it's so good to have you back in the lead shirt, mate. But I'd prefer it if we hadn't conceded a stupid goal. Declan Rice back to Adelio. I love the fact we've literally played ourselves out of having a good chance at making a shot there. I mean, oh my god. Thiago into Corneo. Brilliant ball by Mendoza. Kutrin's in. Why did I expect anything less? We're all over Wolves, but it won't matter. They'll probably hit one ball over the top and it'll be 2 0, I would hazard a guess. Corneo whips the ball, back post. Kutrin heading it straight to the keeper. Never! Never Leonardo. He never does that. Ever. Except for all the time. There are no words to describe at the moment just how frustrated I am by, by what's going on. Dean Henderson playing a seven. So it's just yet another goalkeeper playing at an obscenely high rating against me. Because, you know, why not? I love it. I'm getting... I feel like I'm being a little bit shafted as Vinicius Jr. picks up the ball. If you could actually do something, mate, that'd be great. Kutrin's in on goal. Well, we all... Well, there you go. Naturally. It's not a pass back either. Uh, Kutrin did so well to the finish. No, he didn't. He literally just ran it straight at Dean Henderson. 
you can tell I'm beginning to lose my patience a little bit with him. I love the way that our wingers just continuously run across the other side of the pitch. And Vinicius Jr. is about to do it now as well. But please don't shoot from there. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's 13 shots we've had. Six of them on target. Not one goal. Kuchin's playing at 6.4. He's coming off. I'm hauling him off. And he's not playing again this episode, at least. I've just I've had enough of him. On comes Alfredo Morelos. I've just had enough. I've just had enough of him. There's still a whole half to go. Let's not lose faith just yet. Collins on the ball, whips it in. I mean, if someone could actually get in the middle. I mean, I love Morelos. He's meant to be sort of like a semi-big target man in the middle. He's literally pulling himself out to the left wing for no reason whatsoever. I'm a bad loser. I'm a really bad loser. And at the moment, I'm, I'm, I've got a bad feeling we're going to lose this. And it will be completely undeserved. But, you know, it's just FM. It's just, I love going forward. This is very penetrative play. I love it. Just relax, Mike. Adelio, what a ball that is. Vinicius, don't let this be one of those crap... Oh, he's reboned it in. It's a brilliant block. Naturally, of course it is. Thanks for showing me that highlight. I needed to see that. I needed to see the world-class defending from Wolves. Thanks, I needed that. Morelos not doing much better than Kutra in there, to be honest. Dieters into Declan Rice. Rice over to Corneo. I thought that was going to be the highlight. It was that, that header was a shot. Collins, go on, mate. Byline, whip it in. Back post. We've missed it. Adelio, you're coming off. You're coming off. You're so annoying. You gave the ball away for... Oh, my God. Just just try to relax, Mike. Try to relax. I'm really struggling to relax. Ad right, we're going 4-3-2. Adelio's moving up into the advanced midfielder position. Uh, mm, Collins. I mean, the fullbacks are doing marvellous stuff here. Collins has had a great game. Corneo drifts inside. Corneo tees it. Now, of course he doesn't. Because Wolves have only got 20,000 men behind the ball because they're not interested in playing football. They've literally come, hit one long ball over the top from a bollocks offside decision and they're going to get away with three points and I'm just so angry. I know I don't react well to losing. Like, I never have reacted well to losing. This is taking the piss. Against Arsenal, outplayed. I understand that. That's fine. Okay, We went away from home, got outplayed by a team that just played better than us on the day. This... This is bollocks. This is bollocks, right? This is absolute tosh. This is nonsense. They're a decent team. Nothing special. Literally, just sitting back. Goalie's playing at a seven. We've created nothing. Kuchin's been a complete turd. I bought him at Marielos to help me get some goals and Kuchin wasn't playing well. Marielos comes in. He's been absolutely gash. It's just so infuriating. And their goal was offside. And I'm just done. Because what am I meant to do? What am I meant to do? If they get a second here, I just... I've, I don't try all right. Don't tell me that's the highlight. It's them hitting the crossbar from a deflected cross. If that had gone in, it wouldn't have surprised me, to be fair today. Wouldn't have surprised me the way the game's treating me. Well, there's your response. There's your response. That's just how much the team cares. You're a load of shit. Sorry, I've sworn there, but that's how I feel. Brilliant. So my team meeting even went badly as well, because apparently they know they're playing like crap. Well, don't do it then. There's an idea. Why don't you just, oh, I don't know, not play like shit? There you go. Brilliant. Just a boring game. Just a boring 1-0, load of bollocks from an offside goal game. Well done, Wolves. You're a really breathtaking side to watch. If it makes you feel any better, I took Kuchin off at 6.5 because I thought he wasn't playing well. His replacement, Alfredo Morelos, played at 6.4. So, money well spent. I'm just resigned to strikers that can't score in this year's game. I'm just resigned to it. Does none of my strikers ever score. Ever when I need them to, and we got Leo. What's the point? What is the point? I there are no words for how angry I am right now. I don't know what to do. I, I might be overreacting because it's two defeats, but that's just a prime example of everything that's wrong. I expected a performance, I didn't get it. And if anything, all that happened was that we didn't play well. I get that, but we also got shafted because that goal was absolutely 100% offside. What's the point of having VAR if you're not even going to use it? And Wimps dived into a different time zone. He wasn't even close to saving it. Prick. Well, here we go. It's our first Champions League game. I'd like to say I'm excited about it, but that would be a lie. We're going to go with the same team because I don't have a better one. Um, it's literally as simple as that. If I did, I'd play them, but I don't. I'm sure you can tell I'm not exactly in a good place right now. They've got Sadio Mane at 34. I bet you he still scores. I can't, we can't not be good enough. I've got a brilliant team. I've got Vinicius Jr. I've got Cornea. I've got Kuchin. I've got Declan Rice. I've got Pavlovich. I've got Mendoza. I've got Collins. I've got quality all over the pitch. And it just seems like we just can't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm meant to do. It feels like I'm just treading on eggshells at the moment. 
get a win here and I can forgive the Wolves one. I can forgive it and we can move on with our lives. We're playing ahead of Barcelona or Inter Milan as well. They've not even had their game yet, which is good. So, gives us a chance to lay down an early marker. This is a must-win game. If we're going to get anywhere in the Champions League, this is a must-win game. Because you have to win away against the team that's basically rated bottom in your group. It's the only way that we're going to get anywhere. And I, truthfully, though, my my faith in the team is really shaken right now. I genuinely thought this year would be different. I can understand the Arsenal defeat, but the Wolves one is just shaking me. Because it just feels like... What's happening? Branko Corneo, right, is... I mean, he's been brilliant in some games. Ever since I came on camera, been absolutely atrocious. Literally awful. At least there's a highlight, 37 minutes in. Sorry, 35 minutes in, sorry. I mean, yeah. Corneo, I mean, go on. There's a ball over to the wing back there. Well, we'll deal with it with Corneo. Go on, mate. Do something decent. Decent ball in. Vinicius Jr. doesn't quite win the header, but Dieters is on it. Go on, mate. Whip this ball in. Dieters, he does. Kuchan at the front post. Tease it. Vinicius Jr. How has he saved that? How how has he saved that? In what? <laughs> oh, my God. It was really good play. It was really good play. It was a great play by Kuchan to spot the run of Vinicius Jr. to lay it back to him. And... I expect better for fifty mil for basically fifty million pounds. He he's been really poor. We we've been the better team. There's no getting around it. Just like we were against Wolves. But funnily enough, none of that means anything if you don't capitalise on it and you don't score. You don't score. You never. Oh, Mendoza's been awful. Get off. Maybe I'm lacking in the midfield. Is that where the problem is? Am I lacking talent? Corneo's literally just got injured while I was while I was making that change. Well, what is it? Potential foot injury. Probably a broken ankle. I'd hazard a guess. Brilliant. Durame's coming on. Mendoza's coming off. It's just, it couldn't get any worse. I've spent this entire episode just whinging. And I'm sorry about that. But if you're in this position, after the amount of years I've been here, after the amount of talent that I seemingly have brought in, and then just to constantly be let down... By stuff that's totally out of my control just pisses me off. At least they've kind of come out and they've tried to play football, unlike Wolves. But, you know, I'm angry about Wolves for coming and sitting back and doing that, but that just shows we're the better team and people fear us when they open the game up. And we have to find a way around that. And maybe, just maybe, my midfield isn't creative enough. Maybe it's the finishing. I Maybe it's both. I, I genuinely don't know. A nil nil is not the end of the world. But it's two very, very dull games in this Leeds episode. And it's just more disappointment. Um, yeah, I I don't know what to say. We're, we're getting into the last five minutes. There, there's there been absolutely nothing to get excited about. Literally nothing to get excited about. Minor Castellano over the ball, whips it in. Well done, Winst. At least you've claimed that one, mate. Well done, mate. Come on, let's, let's just do something. Anything. Pets and Thiago, out to Collins. A last-minute winner would do our confidence the world of good. Vinicius Jr., that's what I paid you to do, mate. Roast him. Don't shoot. I don't even need to look at the screen. I know nothing's happening. I bet you when I take the shirt off from my eyes, it will still be nil-nil. I'll, I'll wait here for five minutes and then I'll, I'll check at the end. The annoying thing is I genuinely can't tell if it's finished yet or if we've scored. If we have. I've taken a massive gamble because I'm missing the drama. Okay, I think it's time I can check now. And <laughs> look at that, it's a nil nil. Look at that. Who would have thought? Who who would have thought? Just, just so I'm happy with it. I'm not happy with it, but I've I've already butchered them enough. Brilliant. Branko Cano is up for three to four weeks. Well, it's not getting any easier. Next time we come out we're playing Man United away and then No, you know what, actually we'll, we'll forget United away. We're not in a title race. We're not in a title race. We'll come back for we'll come back for Barcelona. And, and West Ham. There you go. So we'll lick our wounds after playing Barcelona uh, by playing West Ham. Hopefully we'll get a win there. And then what we'll do is we'll have the Inter away game. So that way we've seen all three of our Champions League opponents. A nil-nil is not the worst thing. But again, away against the weakest team in your, in your group, you should be winning. Or you need to win if you want to get anywhere in the tournament. It's... I don't know. I don't know what to say, viewers. I don't know what to do. It all started off so well. Free scoring. Haven't scored in the last three games. That have all been on camera, naturally. <laughs> if anyone in the comment section can let me know what's happening, 
please do, because I I don't. I have no idea. I'm absolutely seething. I'm baffled. And frankly now, I'm just getting pissed off. And I'm sorry that I've come across in a bad mood today. You can understand why. So the next episode then, like I said, will be the home game against Barcelona and against West Ham. Hopefully we'll have picked up some more points in the league. I can't guarantee it, but hopefully we will have done. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you have managed to enjoy it. If you have, then please do drop a like on the video, share, and subscribe. There, there, there are better episodes than this, and I'm a lot happier in other episodes than this if you're new to the channel. You'll, you'll, know, you'll know that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Until I see you again, stay cool. What's happened? What's going on? I don't know.